When I first worked with Charlotte, it was just me and her. Her and me, the two of us, making a duet together. There she was, with a broken wine bottle, a bunch of wilting gladioli, and a collection of support bandages. She was shouting and falling over. And there was me, in one of my mother's frilly nightdresses, reading a Mills and Boone, sat on a sad-looking armchair that we probably got from a skip. A good start to a duet, I think. There was a mattress too, stained, of course, and smelly, on which we grappled, rolled, threw, strangled and gripped one another till it hurt. I learnt quite a lot about Charlotte over the course of making that duet. She brought in some whale music, something she never did again. We ate a fair few ginger nuts, and I soon realised it wasn't wise to enter into any kind of discussion about choreography whilst grappling with her on a mattress. I ended up in my knickers, having discarded my mum's frilly nightdress. Me looking a little worse for wear, but still dancing. We both got cold sores. We shared a lot of things over the next ten years. There were bust-ups, break-ups, break-ins, love-ins, love-hates, some blind dates, some kind deeds, a slap in the face, some lonely nights, cold floors, car fumes, box rooms, bumpy rides, tears and tantrums, quick changes, transformations, divorces, divine interventions, near-death experiences, dirty underwear and the washing of, underhand, overwhelmed, mismatched, misshapen, perfectly formed, crumpled, cracked and melted down, broken showers, broken cords, patched up for now, making amends, making friends, holding hands and letting go. Buckets, bins, tin bins, throwing tin bins, being stuck inside a tin bin whilst being thrown. Battlefields, green fields, full of cows, uncharted territory and familiar ground. I danced with Janosch in a glass house. It was our house for a while. It stood alone in the darkness and the floor was covered in leaves. The audience scattered themselves around and we played out fragments of our lives. It was intimate and honest. Once when we were waltzing around the house, I turned to find an elderly gentleman. He had decided to join us, so we danced with him.